Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to, uh, I believe it's Monday. I don't even know what day it is. Um, yes, we had some technical issues, bizarre issues, but we're here. That's what matters. We're here. I have two uh, wonderful guys that uh, I've grown to respect, and um, if you can love another man, I definitely do. Um, Chris Johnson and Michael Williams, A-I-N. Anyway, we're going to get started. I um, We had a wonderful, unbelievable weekend from Friday till now. We had a meeting. Ash was pretty clear about everything, where we're at. The definition of you're in it to win it was pretty much accomplished. Uh, we'll cover a few things during that. Some of it is anxiety and people asking a bunch of stuff. We'll, we'll cover all that. I'm going to right now go look at my YouTube channel, and I'll get more in depth when I come back. I'll turn it over to Chris to say hello, and then Mike, and I'll be right back. Thank you, Marty. Mr. Michael, hello. Nice to see you. Uh, let me. I have something sad I want to say first, asking prayers for uh, Angie Lynn and her husband, Brian, lost their 34-year-old daughter in a tragic accident last night. She has three kids. Please keep them in your prayers. Also, um, Jerick Battle, he is a founder. He's a friend of uh, Julie Wenz. Um, he lost his life to a drunk driver. Quick message, guys, please don't do that. Uh, drinking and driving is absolutely the worst thing you can do. So remember those families in your prayers and uh, welcome whoever. We're sorry we're late. We had some technical difficulties. But we're here. We never give up. And uh, I, the guy below me, I think he's below me, he never gives up. So, Michael Williams, go ahead and say hi, my brother. Um, I'm actually above you, but that's okay. Uh, that's just semantics. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, fantastic to be here uh, with you and Marty. Uh, of course, I love you. Uh, love Marty. Uh, great uh, individuals. Uh, and again, I wouldn't have known you, uh, either of you if I wasn't in on passive. So another wonderful thing on passive has done uh, is allow us to extend and, you know, uh, basically grow our family. Uh, so that's fantastic. So uh, we know that today is going to be exciting uh, because what are we going to talk about on passive? Thanks, Michael. Marty, give us a thumbs up when you're ready to go. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Okay, everybody, let's. Uh, we're going to touch on a few things and we'll feed off each other. It's very easy to talk about on, on passive as a team like this because we all absolutely love it, so it makes it easier. Um, as you know, or maybe you don't know, there are a lot of things happened. We, we were given clarity on some stuff, which I'm really happy over. It emotionally overtook me, as you could hear, as I babbled like a complete two-year-old two the first time. Second time I finally got through to it. Uh, it's just uh, the emotions piled up because, you know, when you're doing the race and you're doing the journey, you're always going and going and going. And, and that night, it finally hit me that we're, hit, we're, we're there. Now it's a new phase, and it, you know, the... The journey is one thing and running ahead, but when you finally get to that line and you're going, we're here. Um, it, it was over overwhelming, but I'm, I'm I'm very happy that I came in here four and a half years ago, going on five years. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'm so glad I took the journey. I look at it, what Ash did and, his, and, and the people on his team and what I had to do. I didn't have to do anything. Everything I did, I wanted to do. Everybody here feels the same way. I know that for a fact. Uh, I wouldn't work this hard if I was paid for it. Uh, <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. But a couple things. Uh, you know, as we go through, I'm, for one thing, I've seen a lot of people wake up and I'm passing. People I haven't seen in a long, long time. Some people I've never seen. And that's okay. You need to get caught up. But there's ways to get caught up. You could go in the back office. You can look at old videos. You could go to different people's YouTubes. You could go to, there's some kind of webinar every day, many times a day. Go find out, get caught up. We really can't go back four years and try to get you where you are. <clears throat> we feel, and you should feel this is really your responsibility. 
we were we were told about the the, the price and what what how we're going to get paid as much as Mr. Mifar could cover in an open forum. Uh, the problem is I'm seeing a lot of founders when you can go read it and watch the video translate what they think. And you know about translating? I say something, the second guy adds a little bit, the third guy, by the fifth generation of a very simple thing is no longer coherent. It does, it's nothing that was said. Do yourself a favor. Don't, don't talk about something that's easy to go look at. Go to the, go to the webinar. It's on many YouTube channels. Listen to that part. The um, Daryl Cook, Dan Street, Janet Butler, and Peter combined notes, and they put them in the back office. Go look at them. This anxiety thing, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Life's too short. I want you to remember something that I, that I, I preach about every day. This is a very easy thing to remember. If you have a question about something that you think or you don't think you're getting, the answer is ask Mubarak and I'll pass it. Simple answer. You know that the gentleman's going to pay us as much as he possibly can. Finished. The technical how and what and how many, how many ladders do I need to climb? Do I have to jump from here? No. We're going to get paid as much as we possibly can. If you don't believe that by now, I think there's another issue. I don't think you're plugged in enough. Look, I don't need to know where I'm going, but I can see where we've been, and I want to get there just like everybody else. But the picture leading up to it's beautiful. I said before, you go into Rome, you have a family do a 10,000-piece puzzle. Enough of that puzzle's there to know it's the Mona Lisa. Okay, a couple pieces missing here and here. So why would you paint the far side? It baffles my mind. Focus on what we know. Focus on where we've been so far. Focus on a company that did not start in an attic. It did not start in a strip mall. It didn't start in somebody's garage. It started at the Burj Khalifa. They showed and walked the walk. The company stopped bringing money in completely like June 22nd of 2022. And now, whatever money we thought we paid is being given back. So really, anxiety is a waste of time. And worrying about things you have no control over is a waste of time. Worry about you. You can build this business with your passion. You have something you love. You can enter it into the, pla the platform of, of OnPassive and change your life forever. It is a foundation for everything. And I know people say, oh, I don't see how you could say that. Name it and think of what you can use in here to create whatever it is you want to create. I believe that with all my heart. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. And once you know, listen, I don't need to be at 50,000 feet with Ash. I don't. I've climbed up enough that I'm going, if it's this good now, oh, my God, what is going on up there? I just want to go. But if you don't know how clear it is right now, whatever level you're at, I don't care if you're one-tenth of one percent, one percent, two percent, who cares? If you're where we are now, living right now, you got to know. And if you have anxiety, it, you're ha you have a problem. It's not necessary. Life's too short to be worried about these nitpicking stupid things. You're in on passive. You're being led by somebody that's got the biggest heart as the horse secretariat, okay? He surrounds himself with big hearts. I'm happy. I'm satisfied beyond belief. I want to share it. I want to, if I can, if I can edify or, um, I, don't, I don't believe in motivation that much. It doesn't last. I've been motivated in the, a couple of weeks later. But you got you to gotta get in it yourself. You got to get to that level where you feel free like me. I, I don't. I don't sweat the I don't sweat that stuff, but it makes life so much easier. I can focus on what I want to do. And I'm doing things about on passive. This is my why. 
I don't mean to talk that much, but you guys know me, I'm going to talk a lot. So let me turn it over to uh, whoever wants to take it from here, Chris or Michael. Chris, Mike, you like to go first, Michael? Uh, sure. Um, go okay. Either way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, Marty pretty much said, you know, said it all, right? Um, we have enough information. Like we have enough. Right? It, it, it's not that we need more. We know there is more, but it's not that we need more. We have more than enough right now to know that we are good, to know that we are going somewhere where all of us will be proud of, right? Like, like th that, that is key, folks. I want to be in a business that I am proud of. I can talk to my children about it. I can talk to my wife about it. I can talk to family, friends, my neighbor. You know what I mean? If, if I go outside and I'm, I'm shooting some hoops on the driveway or something and the neighbor comes up, oh, you know, I, I, I just moved in the neighborhood, you know, you know, and you get talking and say, oh, what do you do for a living, right? It's something I can be proud to say that this is what I do <laughs> on passive. Like this is, oh, what is that? And I can talk about it and share information. It's something that you're proud of. It's not something where you kind of, well, you know, mm, uh, you know what I mean? You're proud of this business. Why? Because this is the only business, folks, and I'm being real. It is the only business that I'm aware of, right? And, and I don't think I live in a cave somewhere, right? I'm not under a rock. It's the only business that I'm aware of that's going to do so much for so many people around the globe, period, right? Period. You know what I mean? If, if, if this business is going to help me make a couple hundred bucks a month, I'm sorry to say, but that is not going to help me uplift humanity. It just isn't. So, so you have to think, folks, think about what this business is all about. Think about what we've been asked to do. You know, A, you start to generate commissions from the sales of products, right? You make enough to take care of yourself, your family, the excess, what's left over, right? You use that to help other people and so on and so forth. We talk about getting rid of poverty. We talk about being able to help people have clean water and all these things, folks. You think a couple hundred bucks a month is going to help you do just that? Of course not, right? So then why do we need to be so um, focused on a percent here, a percent this, the one, that that, how much, like why? Like really, right? We have to be wiser than that because we are. We have to just slow down, breathe, think, right? And focus on what's important. What's this? What is important is that we all know that there will come a day where we will reach, right? We will reach the point where money is no longer an issue, period. Okay, what is that number? Does it matter? Like, if money is no longer an issue for you, does it matter what that number is? As long as you know it's, it's no longer an issue, meaning, meaning I can take care of my family. I can pay my bills. I can help my neighbor. I see a homeless person, I can help them. I don't just walk by, I don't just drive by. I can stop and help them, right? I know that there's a situation here. I've lost family members who had cancer. So you know what? I wanna be able to donate. I wanna be able to help them solve that problem. Can we find a cure for that? How can we do to help people who've lost loved ones? You just heard Chris today mention a couple of people who've lost loved ones. Folks, Marty said it um, earlier this morning to us, life is so short. You know what I mean? It's, it's like a vapor. Poof, it's gone. It just disappears. So we have to try and focus on things that really matter in life, not on trivial stuff, not on trivial stuff. Do we have real products? Yes. Is this a real company? Yes. Are we ethical? Yes. Are we legal? Yes. I don't care what anyone wants to say. Yes, we are. Yes, we are period, right? If we know all these things, folks, and if we know that our CEO is doing everything possible, legally possible to ensure of our success, then what do we have to worry about? We can go to bed and sleep at night, no problem. Wake up in the morning, we have a smile on our face. You know what I mean? And you go through life just being happy. You go through life knowing that, hey, finally, 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 right? I've reached a place where I've always been searching for. I found a company that I've always been looking for. 
That's what this is about, folks. So let's just focus on what really matters in life, not on these trivial things that a lot of people are spending too much time, right? It's time that we stop the madness. Chris? Wow, you guys just buried me here. I don't know what to say now. Very good for both of you. Uh, listen, Mike, Michael said a very, very strong word that I wanted to use also. He said, breathe. When I woke up this morning, I thought about it like I do every day is, wow, what am I in? And I really had to take a deep breath. And then I looked at my phone and, you know, we try to help anyone out. And I've got 1 million questions about this and that. And I'm going to say again what Marty said. Everything is posted in the back office under notes. It's very self-explanatory. You can also watch the video of Ash Bafar saying it for himself. But I'm going to tell you what. Yesterday, I had two Can oh, a former Canadian and an Illinois guy come to Michigan, Kevin Rutledge and Pam Turner. And uh, they said they were in town. I drove 40 minutes to go visit them because I've been watching them on a computer for three and a half years. I got to meet them. We had pizza and pop and we had a great time. Uh, and I, I'm looking forward to that part. Uh, when what Michael and Marty is saying, it's listen, it's all done. It's it's. The cement is dry. The foundation is dried, folks. Okay. Now, now the vehicles are coming out and they're all called on passive and they're running beautiful. The question is today, Chris, where do I pay? I get you're excited to pay. And trust me, Ash Mafara loves to hear that. It's not there yet, but it will be. But when it is, I promise you this, when something new is put in the back office or, hey, guys, we will, all of us will come on alive or Michael will send out an awesome emails and say, guys, it's on. But we're trying to tell you, we are here to keep you uplifted, but we really shouldn't have to. I can listen to Mike and Marty talk all day because they definitely inspire me on, on a lot of things. But they're talking about one thing here. It's called Unpassive. They're talking about what it's going to do for you, for your family, for the world. And uh, I love that. I absolutely love it because when I turn on my TV, which is very rare lately, I get depressed. Oh, my goodness. When I get a, a call from Angie Lynn about her daughter, Michelle, who passed away tragically last night or Jorick Battle, um, breaks my heart because I'll say it again. What Marty and Mike says, you just never know what life is going to deal you. But right now, right now, I'm excited. Because I know what passive is going to help out. Michael said again, one of the things I loved about, I want to help cure cancer. I want to be part of it. The funds, I believe, are going to be there for many people. For any disease you can think about. How many times you get in the mail, hey, um, especially when you lose someone to cancer or another disease. I get stuff all the time from what my mom had. Hey, can you help out? I can't wait to, over. let's say, on passive says over deliver. I got a new word. I want to over help. I want to overhelp every organization I can from my 88 year old neighbor who I love with all my heart to people I don't even know. That's what I love about a passive help over. What are we saying? It's a new word. Chris Johnson's going to say it over helping people that maybe never, maybe they're too scared to say it. You already know who those people are, are your family, your neighbors, your friends, we're going to overhelp them. And passive is over delivering so we can over help. I kind of like that, Mike. I don't know how I thought of it. You guys got all these words made me think a little bit more. But I, I mean, I'm going to say this and Marty, don't get mad. Ash talked about, I told him, you know, Ash Mafar to me is a genius. Now, I am average. I'm not stupid. I, I'm slower than most people. But I know exactly what impassive is and what it's going to do. Because of impassive, it made me want to learn a lot more. That's the honest to God truth. I am reading more than I've ever read in my entire life about things like law of attraction, passion, love, helping. Who can I do this? Why can't I do that? And my lines are all there. Why can I help anyone in the world? Because that's what a passive is going to allow us to do. You, I'm talking to you out there, founders or our affiliates or whoever is willing to jump in here. This company truly cares. When Ash Mafara says it's a company with a heart, you have no idea. 
Yeah, we could talk about the horse. Marty loves to talk about the solitaire with or uh, secretary with the big heart. I mean, you, you can't measure the heart of a passive because every single day it keeps growing bigger and bigger. And what does that allow it to do? Oxygen, blood flow, and everything just racing. I really want to go crazy. All right. This is what a passive makes me feel like. Now, I am overexcited like I've always been because they're over delivering. Now to be able to be over helping, I can put a million things behind the word over. Like, I can't wait. I can never say this. It's over. Because a passive, listen, I've been climbing this ladder for three years. But probably about a year ago, I felt someone lifting me up and keep bringing me up higher. Someone's carrying me to the top. Ash Mafara on passive. Muhammad Square, the tech team, O Media, people that don't even know who we are that are working their tail ends off to take care of our families, our friends, people that we've never heard of. Hey, Africa, farthest parts of Africa, Papua New Guinea. I can't wait to see what it's going to do for your countries. I can't wait to see what it's going to do for America. Things are going to change. Like Mike said, whether you believe it or not, it's done. It's here. It's happened. Pay attention to what's going on in your back office every day. Just me, four times a day. Four times a day. I don't look at all the other groups. I look at what my back office reads and tell me. That's where I'm going to get the truth. So stay plugged in, like the DeGarmo said, all right? And take a breath and just relax. Because sooner or later here, I think a lot sooner, your life is going to change for the better. And you're going to turn into that over-helping uh, person. I promise you that. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. And Michael, my pleasure is always to, uh, for you to be on here. I was very excited when Marty said that. Woo! Got to love my brother. Marty, back to you, buddy. Well, I want to say one thing right up the front. I'm, 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 uh, I'm so glad you had nothing. Every day, every time he says, I have nothing, he does the best speech he ever did. And stop saying you're a moron. That's my job. Okay. You're not a moron. I didn't say I was a moron. <laughs> All right. M maybe I did. Okay. Let me take that back. Um, no, but the, listen, all the talk and all this, all of us, uh, us three people here are, we want to guide you. Okay. Um, be because I, I want nothing more than. There's crazy stuff going on in the world. There's crazy stuff going on in my life. There's crazy stuff going on in this living room, okay? But the point is, if you can have a chunk of your life, finances, knowing you're part of something that matters, that's a big chunk, man. If you could take that and expand it, because it is my life, right? And if you And I tell you, probably the most frustrating thing for me is knowing how I feel about I'm passive. I wish everybody would at least be at my little small level because it would take a lot of your anxiety away. I I I don't like people that walk around and just sweating over these things and what about and what about take a breath, like like Mike said, take a breath, just relax. Just listen. Here's the point. When people say what's gonna go on or what's gonna happen. You're going to know. It's not like it's private. Like it's not like, hey Marty, you, you can buy the products. Don't tell anybody. I mean, what the frick? It doesn't even make sense. But I said, look, it's going to happen. It's not going to be bells and whistles. It's not going to be a blue light special at Kmart or Walmart. It's going to happen. And trust me, you'll know within a millisecond that something's happening. So you're not going to be left behind. But the main thing is focus on what you do know, focus on what's going on. Don't go, get ahead of yourself. Don't ask a bunch of people because some people have a problem saying, this is my opinion. This is not fact. Just because it comes out of somebody's mouth doesn't make it the law. The law is Mr. Mufara. The law is the company. Other than that, it's an opinion. And you know what opinions are like? I don't need to say, but we all know. So, you know, do your best. I, I, I recommend always, if you invited somebody into this amazing uh, business platform movement, whatever it is, take the time to make sure they're okay and just get them to the level they need to be. 
focus on them. There's a lot of older people that don't understand the jargon. That's nothing to do with how smart you are. Sometimes I find myself, blah, 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 and people look at me, what the frick is he talking about? It's only because of my experience. It has nothing to do with how smart I am. So you got to back down and get to people the level they're at, not their intelligence, their level of skill. And you say, look, no, 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 go here. Well, what does this mean? I said, well, that's what this means when you hear it. Oh, I didn't know that. Just simple little things. Get people where they need to be. Get them caught up to now, today, or tomorrow. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. Get them caught up to now and relax. And we're going to, big things. I believe big things are going to happen any minute. I really do. Tomorrow, tonight, I don't know, but I probably won't be the first one to find out. Really. I'm usually pretty busy doing stuff and somebody lets me know and I go, oh, okay. I don't, I know it's coming, so I'm not worried about when. I'm not, I'm not, is it going to be at 9.01? You're not, who, crap, I don't care. If I'm there at 10, I'll be, I'm still going to be okay. So just keep in mind that uh, I've been looking for passive since I was about 25 years old. Seriously. The problem was Ash was only 13. So I don't think he was ready yet, okay? But when he got to the point, because I don't believe in accidents, it just doesn't make sense. There's too many miracles on this planet. And I'm talking about miracles that you even see, like a hummingbird or something. I only said that because one just flew up to the window. I love hummingbirds. But it's a miracle in flight, right? It's a miracle. That, that can't be an accident. Things were designed the way they're designed. Um, passive is a miracle. And I don't believe it's going to be a Band-Aid. We have enough of that. We have people pushing it, pushing the can down the street. I believe because people are going to feel comfortable. And I'm talking about people that have ideas, people that are visionaries, who are afraid to come out because Big Daddy's going to squash them or, or some company might. Where here, when they find out how crazy our CEO is, that they can come in, give an idea that probably could change the world in a big, big way and welcome it and even help them get it to where they can get out to the market. When people see that, that's how you become the hunted. In every level, the hunted for people that are crying every night, looking at the ceiling, going, life's got to be better. Our job, you open the door, let them in. If they don't like it, let them go back out the back door. It's okay. Just plant the seed and, and let it happen. Because if you find another person like you that does have a heart, they don't have just 2020 here. They have 2020 here. Because I, I know a lot of people invited John Passive and said no. At least double that said yes. At least. But they'll be back. Plant the seed. They'll be back. It's okay. That, that's life. It's been that way forever. But, but figure yourself, you're so fortunate. Thank you. Whoever you pray to, say, thank you, my God. I'm so happy that I'm here. Because we have to do what? Less than 1%. And the company does 99.9. That's not a bad, not, not bad odds. We paid nothing. They bet they spent millions. As we far as family, the crap they go through. A good day to ask is not very good. Usually, usually it's not very good. A good day to ask is when you can chat with people, the founders and stuff in on Paso. I'm I know that for sure. I know that for a fact. But anyway, uh, that's all I got. I'm gonna go back to Mike. And I just want to say thank you for being here. Sorry, we had the well, I'm not sorry it happened. I'm sorry it took us nine hours to get on this uh, this thing, but it was worth it. I, I would I would do whatever it takes to get here. So anyway, over to Mike. Yes, sir. And you know, and before I forget, uh, Chris, I actually go into my OES more times a day than going into the fridge. <laughs> I knew okay. you were going to say that. Then going into the fridge, all right, buddy? This so, is no, a great I'm, trivia. I'm not, I'm not going into the fridge 22 times a day, okay? No, 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 no. but I got, I got to know. You know Rhino here. Go, it, it's the opposite. You know it's Three the times. opposite. Three uh, times today so far. I yeah, think you, 22. Uh, I, tell, I, them what, tell them what I, you spent I, for lunch. Well, that was just I, one day, 110 bucks. I got some ribs and chicken. For lunch, I, for lunch, Mike. <laughs> That isn't every day. 
I have not gone into the fridge from morning. Uh, it's one twelve. I've not opened the fridge. Well, I eat eggs all day long, so I usually go in there, my hair will crack them open, get some barbecue sauce, and actually it's cottage cheese now. You're not allowed to bring that up on the live. I'm sorry. You, you know, <laughs> certain things we don't need to share, okay? Barbecue sauce and eggs is not allowed. No. Will you let Michael talk? <laughs> oh, you got nerve. <laughs> You guys are having too much fun, okay? <laughs> all right. But here's the thing. For me, all my life, um, I've done the best, you know, that I could as far as helping people in, in, in whatever area, whether it's uh, to help someone, you know, help their child with math, science, uh, whether it's someone, you know, is moving and they, you know, call you up, hey, can you come help me move? So you go help them out. Oh, you know, can you help me? You know, drive me here, drive me there, whatever. If I'm available, uh, I, I go and I, and I and I help. Right. Um, same for business. You know, anytime uh, I'm involved in any particular business, I'm doing my best to see how I can help other people. And it's not just well, you know, if you're helping out people, then you get what you want and blah blah. No, like you you just care about people. You just want to help them, right? And and I've always thought this, you know. On, on life journey of success, right? You want to be successful. You want to be financially free, independent, all that stuff. What good is it if you're by yourself? Like, really? Like, what, what, what good is it? What good, that, good is it that every time you go out, you know, you're the one that's um, picking up the bill because others around you just can't. They're not in a position to do so. Like, what, what good is that? Wouldn't you feel better knowing that Every single person is, is in a position that they can pick up the bill, right? Even if you so choose to pick it up, but you know that all of them can do it. It's not because, well, I'm the only one who can, or someone else is the only one and, and there's no way you can't, or you, you, you know, you're there and you'd love to pick it up, but you can't because you're not in a position to do so. You know what I mean? Right? To me, it's much better when all of us are at the top. Right, all of us, every single one of us, and that's what I see on passive. Every single one of us have the opportunity to be at the top, have the opportunity to live the life that we believe we deserve. Right, all of us have that opportunity. It's the only company where I can honestly say I see that, because I've been in companies where yes, yeah, success is there, but there's so many people, and I hear you say it all the time, Marty. So many others who. They just don't have the ability. They can't sell. They can't recruit. They market, advertise. They can't even get their own mother to join them in that business. Just can't, right? In on passive, we don't need to recruit anyone. I love that. We don't need to. We don't need to sell nothing to anyone. We don't need to sell anything to anyone. Because if it depended on us being able to sell, we're going to fail. If it depended on us that we have to go recruit someone to come, we would fail. In on passive, what we can do is we can give away free accounts. Every single one of us can, I don't care if you're 85 years old, you can do that. You can give someone a free account. Whether they buy or don't buy, it doesn't matter. Because guess what? Because of what we have, because of the value that we're bringing, the products that we're bringing to the table, someone somewhere is going to say, yes, I want to buy that product. You understand? We know that there are countless people out there that are spending thousands of dollars you know, on, on, on webinar uh, platforms. They, there are people doing that, folks. You think Zoom you know, makes over a billion dollars because everybody has a free account? Are you kidding me? Where's the sense in that? Think of all the, um, all the different companies that offer you a free trial, right? Um, Netflix, right? They give you a, a seven-day trial or whatever it is, right? Um, stuff like uh, Microsoft Office, um, uh, Adobe, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many things. It's Sirius XM, uh, radio. Like, almost every company now is turning in that direction where they want to give you a free trial. If, if you got Crave TV, right? All these things. Hey, we're gonna give you six months free trial. Six months, really, for free? Okay, thank you very much. 25 bucks a pop. Times that by six months. You know what I mean? They're, why are they doing that? Because they know there's power in 
free. They know people will upgrade. They know people will purchase the product. Especially, especially if what you're giving them is real value. Now, I'm not sure how much value I get out of Crave TV or some of these other stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have Netflix, but how often do I actually use it? You know what I mean? And, and so on and so forth. The point is, it's a powerful strategy, folks. Listen, Mr. Mufar is a brilliant man. Ask yourself this. Have you ever created a business that has 1 million plus account holders? Have you ever done that? Have you ever, ever done that? Right? If I told you that it was possible, would you believe me? You wouldn't. But guess what? You can believe me now because it has been done. It has been done. Right? That's, folks, do you know what it takes to do? When you have people who can't even have two or even three people join them in something, in anything, and yet, you can do what he has done, there has to be something there, folks. And that is a clue to you and to me and to everyone else. The man knows what he's doing, okay? And so, and it's not to you know, put him on this pedestal or, or any, it's none of that, folks, but give credit where credit is due though, okay? Give it where it's due. Chris may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but guess what? He's, there's a lot of brilliant stuff comes out of his mouth. For real, right? The man is passionate, especially when it comes to old blast. Like he's passionate about that, folks. He really cares to see that there's no homeless people in the world. Like, like he's passionate about that, right? That's what we're talking about. Each and every one of us have a passion. Each and every one of us have something that we care about, an idea, people, a country, whatever they, a culture, whatever the case may be, there's something that you are passionate about. And we have an opportunity to help. We have an opportunity to take care of that, to manifest that passion into reality because of what on passive will help you achieve. Because folks, it's simple. You want to make money? Go sell something. Right? You want to make big money? Go sell, go sell something of real value. Because if it's a real value, people are going to come and buy it no matter what. They're going to do it. Right? It, 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 okay, can you imagine you're in a desert, right? You're in a desert and you've got a whole bunch of water bottles. You think people are gonna come and buy your, the water bottles from you? No, they have water in it, okay? They're, they're not empty. <laughs> they're not empty bottles. Okay, there's water. Do you think people are gonna come? They're compelled to do it. That's what unpassive is. Unpassive is that water that's in the desert where people need it, right? They need it. It's not want, folks. It's not want. Because if we go through the, the different products, then we will see, and I can tell you what I personally use and what I know on passive will provide. And I can see where, yep, I need that one. Yep, I need that one. Yep, I need. I can see that, folks. I've said it many times. Customers will purchase more than one product in unpassive. They will purchase more than one. They will. So that tells me I don't need to go out there and get 100,000 customers to accomplish my dreams. Don't have to, right? For most people that are in on passive right now, they just need a few founders, or, or sorry, a few customers, a few users, just a few. That's all they will need. Can you imagine someone is sitting there in, I don't know, Mexico, where the average income is probably like $300 a month? Average income. It's around 300 US dollars per month. So can you imagine, you think that person needs thousands upon thousands of customers to make a difference in their lives? Of course not. Think about that, folks. We're always focused on the one percenters or the five percenters or the 10 percenters in the world. We always focus on the wealthy, the rich. That's not real life as far as the bulk of the people that, right? You've got over 7 billion people on this planet they have no idea what $100,000 a year income ever looks like. And they'll never know that. You understand me? So get back to reality. Look at your personal situation and see what it takes to actually make a difference in your life. Think about that, folks. Unpassive will provide that to every single one of us around the globe. 
And if you're out there and you're listening to us, you need to get into on passive. You just do. Why? Because I know you're looking for a change. I know you can use a financial change in your life. It's, it is what it is because of the state of the economy, the world economy, not just one particular country, but the world, folks. So we know this. So understand on passive is your only way. Chris? Wow, 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 you guys are killing it today. Uh, I'm going to be quick because you may be thinking about things again. First of all, Susan McRae, maybe a year ago, did a video about a different view, being up in the balcony, looking at the whole organization. I think definitely a passive is all giving us a different view when it comes to business, humanity, all kinds of things. And what you're saying, I love your water bottle thing, and it goes back to the gold rush. Who's the ones that really made the money? The guy that was selling the bucket, the shovel, the pick, and the sifter. All right. And back then, those were the products to get the gold. All right. They paid, what is it, a dollar a shovel, five dollar a shovel bucket? I don't know what they paid. I wasn't alive, but they had to pay for those tools to get to the gold. You can kind of, my way, refer it to a passive. You're going to use our tools or pay for our tools to get the gold, but a lot more platinum, silver, copper. You any anything you can talk about that is exceeding your value. Listen, the value of those tools back in the gold rush were everything. There wasn't people out there digging with the fingers in their hands. They knew that they need to purchase those tools to get to where the gold is. And that's a, I think my way of saying it. On passive tools products is where you're going to hit the gold, guys. I, that's just the way I want to say it. I don't know if it's the right way or not. Um, and I think it's an amazing, <laughs> and it says it right there, water bottles in the desert. Beautiful. Absolutely. Think, and it's so easy. It makes so much sense, but that's, that's really a passive. A passive is the water bottles in the desert. A passive is the tools in the gold rush. A passive is the metal detectors for everything because it's going to take you where you want to go. It's going to find the places you need to be. It's going to create wealth everywhere, which is absolutely phenomenal. Well, Marty, do you have, if you have nothing else to say, I want to let everybody know what's going on today. You want me to just do that real quick? Because I know you're thinking. I can see your brain. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So today, this gentleman uh, on top of me, I think he's over this way now, Michael Williams and the beautiful Julie Wen will be on at 3 o'clock today. You can hear Michael and Julie speak some more. Four o'clock is Comfort Contour. And I, I'm not sure if Andy and Collins is going to be on there. And Gladys is usually on there. If that's today. Uh, eight o'clock, Rob Lynn live every single night. Tonight, 930, oh, Minnow. Every night. And she was asking me to see if Mike could come on there. Minnow, I'm sure Mike, if he has a ch chance, he could pop on for a couple of minutes. But that's me saying it. He's got to say it. That, that will be in the back office, Mike. And then uh, what's going on after that? Maybe Engineer Mike's doing some stuff tonight at 10. I'm not sure. But, man, check it out. Check. Listen, there's thousands of people right now in this company that are sharing their whys about what Impass is all about. This is the place to come get your tools, guys. This is a place for a life-changing experience. Why? Because you need it. Like Michael said, I can I can. I know people at the top of my head that are struggling, struggling to make their house payment, their car payment, get their kids school shopping right around the corner. Their, their, their kids need clothes. Let's change that. Get rid of those worries and stress and realize when you get into a passive, all that's going to be taken care of. Not the first day. It's going to take a little bit to get it going. But think about this for one second. Think about how much parents worry about school shopping, especially if they're on a real tight budget or how your kids feel. Um, and a lot of us do secondhand clothes. Oh, well, a lot of kids, they appreciate it because it's something, but to a kid, school clothes is everything. And, and I think about the kids all the time, not to spoil them. You know, what, what's wrong with spoiling people anyway? Never understood that. What, what's wrong with spoiling someone? What's wrong with taking your neighbor out to dinner? What's wrong with getting your kids something that they, they uh, if they're deserving of it, they could be brats once in a while, but what's wrong with spoiling the world with good? We get spoiled with bad all the time, don't we? Let's turn this around and spoil people. 
Come on in and pass it and help me spoil the world. Marty, I'm done. Back to you, brother. Once again, nothing. He has nothing. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks, guys. Um, like, like it's been said, all of us talked about it. You don't need to sell anything. I'll tell you what. The company is so confident on the product that they have developed. If you just open the door and point, go there, it's over. Use the free products, get them in, it's over. They get to walk on the wild side. They get to walk in the universal on passive, and they're going to find something they want. Why? Because they're using it now, less superior. The technology's not there. It's not brain surgery. Secret sauce is we have it. Just let them come in. They have no problem. They, they get free trial because they know you're going to love it. It's that simple. You don't have to take our word for it. If you're watching this and you're not in on passive, take a walk on the wild side. It's free to get in. They'll give you three free products just for doing it. And if you don't like it, it just rubs you the wrong way. Get out. I go for it. But I'm just saying, just open the door and say, come here. And by the way, everybody, as things move along, and this is for everyone, and maybe your confidence isn't there now, it will be. When you see it working, you will stand taller. You will have a little skip to your walk. And people will ask you, did you lose weight? Did you get a haircut? No, I got on passing. Can I have some? Get the freak in here. Yes, you can. Anyway, I'll see you all. God bless. In, uh... one, one, one second, Marty. Oh, wait, second. Okay, go one, ahead, Mike. When they, when, they, when, they, when they see that wallet, right? when they see the numbers climbing, uh, they'll start to have a little swagger, right? Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, but, but yes, just, just to confirm with uh, Omenu that yes, I, I'll be there. Uh, tonight at 9 30 uh as well as of course chris mentioned uh julie at 3 p.m today okay. boom yep that's a cup boom anyway thanks everybody and tomorrow uh the lord's will i'll be here at noon unless i have technical difficulties i'll be here between noon and six i'm just kidding i'll see you all and thank you very much for being here thanks for the support suck it in get caught up get to the level where you're satisfied and we're all going to get to the point where we don't have to worry about money. Okay. That's the main thing. Money shouldn't be a part of your worry. Anyway, see you all and God bless. Blessings.